Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's March 3rd. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Brian Babler from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Brian, thanks for being here. Uh, coming out of this week, we're looking at a week where the market kind of caught its breath, uh, relatively stable pricing. Uh, what kind of activity did you see and, and what does the longer term outlook look like? Hey, thanks, Mike. Um, yeah, a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of sideways week for munis. Uh, that's with a backdrop of uh, pretty uh, pretty tough uh, pressure on rates in the overall market. U.S. Treasury sold off for most of the week. Um, you know, early in the week, there was a little bit of short covering, uh, but then got back uh, to, to selling off uh, through yesterday afternoon. Uh, you know, there there is a little bit of a uh, uh, rally going on today, uh, especially a flattening, flattening on the long end of the treasury curve. Um, but as of yesterday afternoon, uh, you know, every part of the treasury curve was uh, either 4% or higher. The 10 year touched a 405. Uh, obviously, the front end, um, you know, uh, sub substantially higher than that. Um, but, uh, you know, that, that rally today is bringing that back in. Um, you know, right around a four percent, uh, maybe three ninety nine, as we're recording this video on the ten year. Um, you know, about a three ninety one or so uh, on the on the thirty year. But overall, uh, the the rates pressure definitely impacted the muni market. Uh, even though the munis uh, tended to um, outperform a little bit, overall the MMD curve was off maybe about four basis points or so. Uh, again, today with a little firmer tone, uh, maybe that uh, rallies back a basis point or so, but it seems to be mostly flat. Um, so it, it's been, uh, you know, it's been a little bit of an interesting week, especially heading into what's likely one of the weakest seasonal technical uh, parts of uh, of the year for munis. Obviously, as we roll into uh, April 15th, uh, typically with munis, we see uh, tax uh, season uh, selling pressure. Uh, you couple that with lower uh, coupon and maturities coming into the market, um, providing fewer cash injections. That tends to put a little bit of pressure. Uh, we did see another about 900 million in outflows from tax exam uh, funds this week, uh, so that uh, that continues to be a factor driving the market. But overall, you know, things were kind of relatively calm. Uh, we only had about 6.2 billion in new issue supply this week, which was decent. Uh, you're not not overwhelming. A little bit higher than we have been seeing, uh, but it, it certainly wasn't too much pressure for the market um, to um, to digest. This week for BAM, uh, we had a fairly active week, uh, insuring over 160 million uh, in new issues. Uh, that included 48 million for Bell County Water Control Improvement District, uh, which was a negotiated sale price by R.W. Baird and carried an A1 underlying rating. And uh, there was also a 46 million dollar. Uh, negotiated sale price by Stiefel for New Albany Park District in Ohio, which carried a AA3 underlying rating. Thanks for the comprehensive report, Brian. Um, so, you know, as we come out of this week, there is one of the things we've heard from the um, uh, strategists and analysts this week is there is some uncertainty. You know, one of the points that was raised with regard to the outflows that you mentioned is how much of that is seasonal people uh, gearing up for uh, tax needs, how much of that is investor concern about the uh, outlook for interest rates. Um, kind of hard to separate those two factors out, but uh, not a lot of optimism for, for muni app performance, at least over the next six weeks or so. But as you pointed out, uh, Upcoming supply is is a still a little bit of a mystery. People expect supply is going to uh, tick up from where it's been so far this year. Uh, we're not really seeing that yet for next week's calendar, right? Uh, a little bit of to kind of two different stories on the supply side for next week. Uh, there there is a pretty big headline number. Um, it's over eleven billion expected to price, but about half of that is going to be taxable. Um, so that you know at about five and a half billion or so uh, in exempt uh, an exempt volume. You know that that likely won't put much pressure uh, on the exempt market. We'll see how the taxable deals perform, um, but overall, you know, it's 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 a bigger number, certainly bigger than we've been seeing. Um, you know, kind of seven eight billion has really been average to above average, um, and uh, you know, eleven billion is certainly a, a bigger headline number. But with uh, with about half of that uh, being exempt, it's really you know, it's it's really uh, a little more manageable than I think the the numbers suggest. So, um, you know, we'll we'll see how things continue to move. Again, uh, the 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 fund flow number will be an important one to continue to watch. Uh, like you said, how much of that is uh, is tax uh, uh, related, and and how much of it is just rates related, and you know, kind of similar to what we've been seeing. Certainly, some of the comments, uh, you know, this week uh, out of the Fed, um, you know, 
uh, is, is one of the things that the market is continuing to digest on a daily basis. Very good. And so next week, of course, we'll uh, we'll come back Friday afternoon next week. It'll be after the next unemployment report. So we'll get some uh, additional feedback on the economy from that as well. So thanks for your time and insights. We'll uh, have a good weekend. Thanks, Mike.